Hello Church, we're looking at Revelation chapter 11 for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is victory. While we're almost halfway through the book of Revelation, we've seen some difficult things, some harsh things, the wrath of God, punishment being poured out across the world, God's correction and call for repentance within the churches in chapters 2 and 3. And here in chapter 11, Jesus is describing to John these two witnesses who kind of hearken back to Elijah and Moses and some of their activities and some of the things they're doing. So they do some great feats. The world is watching them as they stand firm for God. They do some miraculous things. They're able to conquer and uh, breathe fire out of their mouth, and yet they end up being killed. And so it seems that there is defeat, that maybe God isn't that powerful. Maybe God isn't in control because they can be defeated. So for three and a half days, as the bodies of these two witnesses lay and the whole world gazes at them, And yet, that is not the end of the story. While the immediate look of defeat is there, we know God is still working through these things, that God ultimately has the victory. And so these two rise back to life and show that God is victorious, and that God has power over life and death. And then as the chapter ends, kind of we have the seventh trumpet, seventh, seventh trumpet being blown. And this is how it's described here, right? And so it says, then the seventh angel blew his trumpet. And there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. All right, so that's verse 15 describing the kingdom of this world is now the kingdom of God. That Jesus is setting up his kingdom that will last forever. And then in verse 16, Then the 24 elders who sit on the thrones fell before God on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Let's listen in verses 17 and 18 how they worship their God. What are they saying? We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. So church, let's be encouraged that in success or failure, God ultimately always has the victory and that God will win the end. Whether we see strength or chaos, success or famine in the present world, we know that eventually this kingdom will become God's kingdom, that everything on earth will be destroyed, that God will properly bring reward and justice for everyone depending on their relationship with him. So realize God has the victory. Let us reign with him in victory as well. All right, church, have a great day.